This is the latest ball mill I designed. Let's go over it. Alright, so the first major thing with this ball mill is I'm using a ceramic jar here. The ceramic jar can be used with glass marbles or with um, porcelain or ceramic ball media. And this allows you to grind material without contaminating it with metal. If you're using steel balls, it would contaminate the grinded material with the steel particles. So I have an on-off switch on this. And then I have a PWM control that controls the motor speed. Right now I have it 25 RPM, but I can go all the way up to 160 RPM with this. So if I turn this knob, The 160 RPM is the jar RPM, that's not the uh, shaft RPM here. Features to make this uh, easy to repair, I have removable panels that uh, come out. Gives you access to the gearhead motor, the PWM controller, the power switch, and the controller for the PWM, the potentiometer. It also gives you access to the nuts for the shafts. And then on the other end, there's another removable panel. And then to make the thing really easy to work on, the whole mechanism comes out. It just sits in slots on the uh, ball mill. And this gives you access to all the individual screws and when I made this I used a 300 rpm 12 volt DC uh, it's like a 5 or 8 amp uh, gearhead motor here and I heat, have heat sinks on it to help uh, cool it just a little bit with a little fan here that runs and let's see what else we have we have 8 millimeter threaded rod a uh, coupler to couple it from the motor to the shaft and these two polyurethane skate, roller skate bearing wheels are actually fixed to the shaft so they rotate with the shaft. The rest of them are riding on ball bearings on the shaft so that they can free spin. And then at the end of the main drive shaft, there's a 608ZZ bearing mounted inside of the housing. There are three ventilation holes underneath the intake side of the fan to help give some fresh air to the cabinet here as it's running. It doesn't get too hot. It's, it uh, stays about lukewarm when it's running. And here's an exhaust port doesn't require a lot of ventilation. The PWM controller does not get hot at all. The main power supply for the PWM controller is a laptop power supply. Um, I picked a laptop power supply because I have a bunch of them in my junk box. They're easy to get on the, on the store shelves so it's easy to replace. Everything in here is pretty easy to replace. PWM controller you can just get any off-the-shelf PWM controller is good for 25 volts or more. A uh, gearhead motor, as long as it mates up with the coupling, you can always replace the coupling too. Um, I think I have a six six millimeter shaft on the motor that comes out to an eight millimeter shaft here. I actually drilled the coupling to make it fit both sides properly. I did several things to help with uh, noise reduction while running the ball mill. The first one here is this weather stripping. This couples with a cover that goes on top of the ball mill while it's running. The ball mill cover is lined with felt to help absorb some of the vibration. And then the bottom of the ball mill is lined with felt also to help absorb some of the vibration and then I have these little rubber isolators that the whole thing rides on. I laser cut the entire assembly. Everything is designed in uh, Inkscape actually of all places and then I cut it out of uh, birch plywood 
and glued the whole assembly together. Anyways, uh, I hope uh, this is useful for somebody, and I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Thanks for watching.